Who's been cutting your hair? Uh, world-class salons. <laughs> Let me get my scissors. Oh, whoa, no, I'll... Trim. That's all. Just the ends. I promise. Could you trim my Can hair, too, like please? Your job back then or something? No. I was an assistant district attorney. What's up, guys? We're back with episode six of The Last of Us titled Ken. Last week's episode was as tough as I expected it to be. Chad, your boy, wondering who was cutting onions up in this room because it definitely had my eyes watering big time. I fully expect this episode to dial it back just a little bit, judging by how hard last episode was, but I still imagine some important moments happening that are going to help push the story along. Now, before we get to the episode, if you guys are liking this series, make sure you drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and turn on your notification down below. Also, drop a comment. Let me know what you're liking, what you're disliking about this series. So I can get a general vibe of what everyone's feeling so far. Now, without further ado, let's get to episode six, titled Ken. Oh, well, we're starting here again? Oh, man. Give me the gun, Henry. Give me the gun. Henry, no! They just had to do it, huh? <laughs> the nod to the video game. Did they shoot the rabbit out of nowhere. Who are these people? Why did you shoot him? The gun's all the way over there. <laughs> he didn't hurt me, by the way. Yeah, I got eyes. <laughs> you made him soup? Yeah, I did. It's cold out. I'm looking for my brother. I like this. Well, I, I like this couple him. already. I told you what he looks like. They're funny. He look anything like you? A bit. And I ain't seen him. He's got a girl with him. Oh, what? Uh, what did I just say? Joe, come on. There's like a thousand. Who's this little psycho? Never mind her. <laughs> I need you to tell us where we are. You got a map. Why are you lost? You must have missed all the street signs in the enormous fucking forest. Holy. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Jesus. We're somewhere here. It's got a mouth Exactly on where. It. And your answer better be the same as your wife's. Did you tell him the truth? Yeah. Are you telling me the truth? Yeah. <laughs> So you haven't heard the name Tommy? Nope. What about the fireflies? We get those in the summer. Not the bugs, the people. There are firefly people? <laughs> <laughs> you got any advice? It sounds a little ridiculous. Way west? Yeah. Go east. But you never go past the river here. We never seen who's out there. But we see the bodies they leave behind. Jeez, that some sounds infected, terrible. Some not. You don't seriously believe them. They've lived here a long time. Put that back. I don't know anything. I've never heard Just of the Just steal their flies. food? What the heck? Uh-oh. Just the cold air. All of a sudden. All right. Oh, uh, struggling. I think he's got a heart issue. So let's go and find Tommy and, and the fireflies. Huh. You're gonna show. You're gonna see a shift here where Joel's gonna have to rely on Ellie more to help him get through instead of the other way around. It's too close to dark. There's some caves along the river. We'll set up camp there, cross in the morning. Good. I'm starving. I ain't Just staying in a cave, rabbits. man. We can get our own rabbits. You gonna teach me how? Just keep moving. What are those? I've never seen the Northern Lights. I'd like to see them one day. Down from there, you're gonna break your neck. One day when I get to travel the world. Yeah, I don't drink. I think that stuff's kind of gross. Mostly because it 
Tastes gross. Let's say we find the fireflies, it all works. They draw my blood and put it through some of their fancy machines and make a cure. Like, what do we do? Well, it's a we. <laughs> okay, fine, whatever, you. I would raise sheep. They're quiet. Do what they're told. Yeah, yeah, okay. Are sheep really that so quiet, though? You. And what about you? Where are you going to go? Behind you, there's ocean, and ahead of you, there's a wall. Or else to look but up. I read everything I could in the school library. Like Neil Armstrong, an Buzz Aldrin, Jim Lovell. But you know who my favorite yep. is? Sally Ride. Sally fucking Ride. I tried with Sam. Tried what? I knew he was infected. I rubbed some of my blood into his bite. I know, I know it was stupid, but I wanted to save him. Hey, what if his blood had gotten into you, you know? Marlene, Very she's dangerous a lot of things, to make. But she's no fool. If she says they can do it, they can do it. Gotta have hope. That's all you have at this point. Want to take first watch or second? I'll do both. Both fell asleep. Somebody's there. Oh boy. Still mumbling in your sleep. Oh. Uh, you can't do things like this. But I can. Because I just did. I'm responsible for you, okay? Then don't fall asleep. I was quiet. I Got him. I checked my six. I looked for tracks. I found the high ground. And I kept watch. Wake me up next time. Yes, sir. You gotta sleep sometimes, Joel. Yeah, walking through an open field. I'm Themes. learning how to whistle. Don't. How to whistle. Why do they call it dressing? It's like, you should call it undressing. Because it is. It's like undressing from the inside. It's got a point. Makes sense. Dylan? They're going to get shot at walking out in the open field like this. Damn. Hey, Joel. What if this is the river of death? Uh oh, did you read the map wrong? Oh, I think we got our answer. Last chance for a bullet. If you're infected, he will smell it and he will rip you up. Oh boy. Like I said, we'll just move on. Now her. Oh boy. How did he get out of this? <laughs> Wonder if it dissipates, like, uh, or just maybe it's showing that the dog He's isn't as uh, ten more seconds. What are you doing out here? Isn't as accurate as his little machines. Just looking for my brother. It's all nothing more. <laughs> Damn! Look at that settlement. That's pretty impressive. It looks like everybody's got a gun too. Oh. They gave them their own horses? How'd that work? Tommy! Tommy! Let's go! We missed you, Tommy. <laughs> Oh man, that food I bet tastes more, amazing. Maybe. Thank you, ma'am. It's been a while since we've had a proper meal. Actually, I don't think I've ever had a proper meal. This is fucking amazing. Sorry. Watch your profanity. Ellie, let's mind our manners. A bad reputation doesn't mean you're bad. Not always. 
Damn, she gave him Joel the stink eye there. We're grateful for your hospitality and all. But it'd be nice to have a moment here, maybe just for family. Well, uh, Maria is family, actually. Ooh. Oh, shit. Congrats. Congrats. <laughs> Sincere Joel. How about a tour? Yeah. This place actually fucking works. There's your sheep, Joel. They're not Joel, quiet. Check it. <laughs> Doesn't seem like you age much. You, on the other hand. Damn. Thanks for still giving a shit about me. So how's Tess? She's fine. Ooh. All right. Good then. It's not exactly an easy trip. It'll be easy for us, seeing as how you can headshot infected from half a mile away, which is a bunch of bullshit. By I mean, the way. ain't going on that trip. What are you talking about? Yeah, I can't go. Well, come yeah. on. <laughs> I made it across the country. The two of us can make it from here to Colorado. If you knew the shit that I've been through, Tommy, trying to find you these last few months. I'm going to be a father. Ooh. To be honest, I'm scared to death. Tommy's got things to lose here. That's why they want to leave. But I don't know why. Feel like I'd be a good Makes dad. Makes sense. Guess we'll find out. Just because life stopped for you doesn't mean it has to stop for me. Go grab some supplies and be out of your hair in the morning. Mm, I'm with Tommy on this one, though. It's looks like Sarah. That's tough. Who's been cutting your hair? Uh, world class salons. <laughs> Let me get my scissors. Oh, whoa, no, I'll trim. That's all. Just the ends. I promise. Can you trim my Jones hair too, like please? Your job back then or something? No. I was an assistant district attorney out of Omaha, Nebraska. I'm, I'm sorry about your kids. It's okay. And kid, just Kevin. Sarah was Joel's daughter. Oh. She didn't know. I guess that explains him a little. So then you understand my concern. He doesn't do that anymore. He stopped killing people? Innocent ones. And Tommy did it too. Are you worried about him? Fair. Be careful who you put your faith in. The only people who can betray us are the ones we trust. Trust no one. You understand? Mm-hmm. It's like... How about you just get I some new shoes, bro? Me. Instead of trying to repair the ones you have. Figured I'd save you the trouble. She's immune. What? Really? She got infected, but she didn't get sick. From the beginning. Yeah, tell me the whole story. It was Marlene. She hired us to smuggle her to some fireflies. Lately, there are these moments where the fear comes up out of nowhere and... My heart. Joel's breaking. It's stopped. It's cracking. It needs help. It's the last thing I'll ever ask of you. I swear. The big ask of Tommy. I would take her out at dawn. Is this really all they had to worry about? Boys, movies, deciding which shirt goes with which skirt. It's bizarre. Is he reading Sarah's journal or just something? Listen, uh, why are you here? You'll be way better off with Tommy. 
He knows the area better than I do. Do you give a shit about me or not? Of course I do. Then what are you so afraid of? I'm not her, you know. Maria told me about Sarah and... No. Don't say another word. Hmm. I'm sorry about your daughter, Joel. But I have lost people, too. You have no idea what loss is. Everybody I have cared for has either died or left me. Everybody fucking except for you! So don't tell me that I'd be safe with somebody else, because the truth is, I would just be more scared. Damn. You're right. You're not my daughter. Painful conversation. I'm not sure as hell ain't your dad. Now come down. We're going our separate ways. Ouch, man. Straight from the game, too. Straight from the game. Hmm. Joel doesn't want to lose another daughter. But at the same time, it's he sends her off with somebody else. He might still lose her, you know, it's kind of weird. Very awkward, because they don't know each other at all. Can I borrow that? Yeah. Because Maria took mine, you know. I already said yes, Joel. Hmm. I was gonna say, he needs a gun. Adios, big brother. He doesn't aim right. Mm -hmm. You'll see. A deep breath in, slow breath out. Don't talk He's crap about Tommy's like rifle. Tommy knows mm -hmm. what he's doing. Gentle, steady, nice and slow. You gonna shoot this thing or get it pregnant? It isn't gonna work, it doesn't aim right. You did. Nailed it. <laughs> right in the asshole. Oh, look at that shot. So good. Home of the big horns. What does that mean? Team mascot. We're in Colorado. Oh, we'll see. I'm so closer to your dream. Look it. Ooh, firefly symbol. Here we go. Things don't look so good in this firefly base. There are definitely doctors here. We're doctors here. I can list. Something to make before moving. They just left. Maybe not all of them. I believe University of Eastern Colorado is supposed to be based on Colorado State University, which has the same mascot. So it's a fake university based on a real one. Different colors, too. Let's look at their their war mat, see what's going on here. That's where they went. All the pins lead there. I don't know. Heard a voice. Uh oh. Oh that's not good. They're gonna find his horse. Oh crap. Oh! Oh! 
differently in the game just a little bit he falls on like some rebar that goes through his body the same premise though he's, he's definitely hurt I can't fucking do this without you I don't know where the fuck I'm going what the fuck I'm gonna do Joe Man, the, the music they've chosen for this series has been just on point. Every episode. That was episode 6 of The Last of Us titled Ken. Another good episode with uh, lots of scenes ripped straight out of the video game. They skipped some of the action sequences like at the dam. And I seem to remember the fighting at the college being a little heavier, but I could be wrong on that as well. But the story still stayed pretty true to the original game. Joel getting stabbed with the baseball bat is a change from the game where he actually falls from the second story inside one of the buildings and lands on some rebarb. I'm actually kind of glad they changed that because the rebarb scene in the game is tough to watch. So getting stabbed with the bat handle was a little, a little easier to handle for me. This episode was a little dialed back from last week's, which was definitely a tough roller coaster, um, but still had some really moving moments, especially the conversation between Joel and Ellie, where Joel decides they're going to go their separate ways. That was definitely a hurtful conversation to have. But what did you guys think about the episode? Let me know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, make sure you drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and turn on your notifications. Episode 7's next week. I can't wait. I'll see you guys there.